Hi, Garden Rebels. The holidays are coming upon us. Are you feeling the pressure? But before that, before we even enter into that other world, I'd like to take the time to invite you to a very special and unique celebration. What is it, you ask? It's a road opening. I know, I know. Plants, trees, all kinds of cool holiday baskets. And we want to talk about the road? Uh-oh, yes, the road. It's opening. <laughs> Okay, so first, the nitty-gritty details. It's happening this Saturday at 9.30 in the morning till 12 o'clock at noon. This road, they called it the Garden Corner Curve, we're going to close off temporarily for that time so we can all celebrate this corner. Now, why would we celebrate a road opening by closing the road? Well, it's a long story, but it really begins with this wall. Way back several years, a car came rapidly through this corner and burst right through this wall. It was a scary event for all of us, but no one was hurt. It just gave us the alarm bell that maybe this corner needed a little bit more improvement. That was like picture perfect. Now I'm going to stop here because I am not by any means the official spokesperson for this project. As a matter of fact, I just live right over there and essentially I was a bystander for this whole project. I had a few opinions of course when they asked me, but other than that, really just an ordinary citizen. And really, I would love to show you some old pictures of this corner. I don't think I have any. But let's not look back. I have been so impressed with the people who have managed this project in our very own city who has overseen this project. Now, this celebration if the weather's permitting, we're having the Tualatin High School Band play along this road. There's going to be stations for hot apple cider and get this, donuts. And who doesn't love themselves a really good donut? We're also going to have a planting station alongside the curves to create a little memorabilia pot for this snapshot in time event. And we're going to hear from our very own mayor give a special speech, especially for the folks who really were responsible for making this happen. It's a road opening, but in a, in a larger sense, it is a quality of life celebration for us now, but for many future generations too. It's kind of how I look at gardening as well. We certainly enjoy what we plant now, but it is very possible that that planting is enjoyed by many generations from now. Sheesh, I even forgot about the scavenger hunt that we're going to have including the world's largest hanging basket 
the world's largest hanging basket. The world's largest hanging basket. Seriously though, this project really highlights some of the greatest things in engineering and wastewater or runoff water treatment. Here it uses this system of plants and materials to filter the water and I'm excited to learn more about these techniques. Incidentally, by the way, I love these huge sidewalks. Uh, it's kind of a sidewalk and a bike path together. Since it's been open, I am just amazed at how much foot traffic has been going around here, how many joggers, how many bicyclists. And it's got to make these uh, road designers extremely happy. Guys, that's the show for the day. Always live your passion. The car company.